Hi guys and welcome to AutoTopNL and welcome to this ring review of an UP GTI. And as you can see maybe by the wheels already, this is not a normal UP GTI. This is a modified version uh, which is done to like a club sports spec as you can see by the sticker on the side right here. Um, so yeah, the wheels already give it away. The sticker gives it away, car has a Maxton kit. But this car is prepared for ring usage. So what does that mean in this case? Well, of course, these cars come from factory with 100 horsepower. This car has a bit over 150 horsepower and also quite a few more Newtons. So a bit more oomph, a bit more power to make you go through the steep sections of the Nürburgring Nordschleife. And as you can see with this specific one, um, the GTI is already quite a capable little, I think you can call it a hard hatch if we're fair. So this car sits on Altec club racing wheels with the Michelin Pilot Sport 5s. So not a full semi, but to be honest on a car that weighs, I think this weighs 900 and a little bit with uh, in its current configuration, we should be perfectly fine. So regarding the mods, as you can see, uh, full Maxton kit on the car to give it a bit more flair. Like I said, the wheels. We also have uh, EBC yellow stuff brake pads on this car to give that stopping power and different brake fluid. Very important so we don't get any fading uh, on the brakes after heavy usage. We also have, but I can't show you that unfortunately, this car sits on ST coilovers. Uh, these are just height adjustable only but it gives of course a more sporty and more grippy ride uh, in this case which we're definitely gonna need and everything else really happens on the interior so as you can see we have the cobra bucket seats there is a rear seat delete in this car so we have a small net and i will show you in the back in a minute um, but yeah the brackets uh, we have a, a custom shifter by Billet Works. Really, really cool piece right here. As you can see, CNC in there, the GTI logo with the shift pattern. Um, but yeah, nothing too crazy, of course. Harnesses, four points in this case. And I will show you in the back really quick. We have this glorious carbon reinforcement bar for uh, the removal of the rear seat. Um, the owner already said the rear seat in these cars is pretty useless anyway. So making it from something nice and shiny and up the performance a little bit gives a bit more rigidity. Yeah, it just looks really cool. Like I said, performance wise, 150 plus horsepower. And this car now also has a Miltec exhaust system, a full system from the downpipe to the back box. So really cool. So I'm gonna take you, oh, and also really cool as you can see here on the roof. The Volkswagen Motorsport sticker with the Nürburgring layout, super, super cool. So we're gonna take this car out on the ring. I'm gonna tell you what it's like and I'm expecting this to be a lot of fun. Light little car around the ring. Let's see what it can do. Okay guys, so we're about to go on track in the Club Sport Up GTI. I'm here together with the owner, Jeroen. Hi. And uh, well, I'm gonna talk you through it. We just did a quick warm up lap, get a bit of a feel for the car and uh, it's a lot of fun but as usual with small little and light cars you get a lot of fun so let's see also it is fairly busy today for uh, an evening session and we actually have a yellow yeah at Schwedenkreuz so we're gonna have to take that into consideration as well but this is gonna be fun so 150 ish horsepower about how much kilos? Eight uh, or 930, nine? 9.30 I estimate. 9.30 roughly. And uh, some Pilot Sport 5s and some good good brake pads. So uh, come along for the ride. And as you can probably hear, the car is fairly loud. <laughs> you can hear that really cool turbo whoosh on the shift. Yeah, really, really cool. because of the pedal positioning so I'm not going to yes, but it was really low. yeah very very low but oh <laughs> you can hear the front tires trying to grip so 
so we're actually driving with uh, the stability still on but the traction off in this case because these cars are well very nimble but also quite tail heavy if you really go for it so we don't want to bin it but in all honesty for the amount of fun that we're having i'm telling you we don't need none of that stability control because my god it has it has serious amounts of grip but as you can see right there it just uh, on the stability it tries to intervene a little here and there especially on curbs and such so the key factor with this car is trying to keep the momentum really in the car which is actually uh, fairly difficult I would say in a good way because you need to drive uh, very precise and indeed like you said very smooth and with most of like these big horsepower cars and super grippy machines you can just throw it around and it will pull you out of the corner but I'm telling you in this case it will not so you have to be very if you get it wrong it yeah. will be wrong yeah exactly if you get it wrong it's wrong so you need to be very you know very careful so as you can see the yellow here so I need to turn your hazards on Okay, so hazard's off, and here we go again, and we have the ring taxi, so we're gonna let him pass. He's a bit faster, but we can chase him for a two quarter. <laughs> but you don't want to overcook it you really want to focus on that exit and keep the power going and I have to say also this car is now on Pilot Sport 5 uh, it's a little bit of a stretched tire on the wheel currently so that makes it a bit more uh, difficult it tries to push on the edge of the tire basically it's but easy to wash the car out of the yeah yeah exactly but I have to say that the Sport 5 on a car with this weight is doing very well <laughs> yeah. in terms of grip yeah they're doing very well in terms of grip like very impressed by that and also braking performances i'm taking it fairly easy on the brakes but whoo, yeah you can you can really push on them because it has really really good braking performance and that's also because you don't have that much weight pushing on the brakes which is in my opinion always the biggest factor on the life of brakes actually because this car now has it's 50 horsepower more than stock uh, right 35, 35 more than stock so and 50 newton meters 50 newton meters so and you really feel like because it's quite bulky i was expecting it to be you know very difficult of, on keeping the speed in it but you have enough torque to go up the hills and such uh, for reference i used to drive a, a clio around here which was a naturally aspirated two liter that was struggling here uphill yeah. and this thing is just coping it very very well i was very positively surprised by it and you just have the time to think about yes. how you're gonna attack the corner where are you gonna go on travel you can just with a car like this i really feel if you are relatively speaking on a bit of a budget because for an up this is still quite a bit of money it's of course quite expensive. yeah for an up and, and considering all the mods and such it is quite expensive but if you are on a bit of a budget, I would say, and you want to do something like this with a slower, lightweight car, I mean, do it. Because you have all the time during your lap. Like, a lot of people, you pay, what, 35 euros a lap it is nowadays, I think? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you want to enjoy every second of it. And with a car like this, you really, really get to enjoy it. Oh, 
oversized driving this car. And, and you can use the play in the wheels yeah, to yeah. point the car where you want it. Because usually with uh, the high horsepower cars, like I said before, and the big amounts of grip, you're really about attacking the corner hard. Like you can brake late, you can enter it hard, and you have the power to come back out of the corner. But with a car like this, you have to be very easy on entry, take the right line, try to scrub as little speed, as little speed as possible, which is fairly difficult. And I have to be honest, I'm not very used to that. <laughs> but it is for it makes for an incredibly good driving experience because you can just and it's very rewarding when you yeah, get it right exactly it is very very rewarding i have to say and i wasn't i was expecting it to be yeah i don't know i, I don't really know what i was expecting because i was expecting it to be a lot slower in the first case oh, oh no yeah you see and there it tries to intervene a little yeah but that's the point when yeah on entry you get it a little bit off yeah, yeah, exactly. There's no correcting it. No, not at all. But, oh, it is a lot of fun. Because again, here, normally you would dive in pretty hard, but you just, you just can't, unfortunately. Like you would said, it's third gear because torque. Ah, there we go. And then we keep it in third. We have a faster car, but I'm still gonna attack the corner. something where definitely more is to be gained but oh, for a car of of this yeah for a of, basic car still, yeah for such a basic it car way better than you expect much much more than i even yeah dream to it dream to expect of it because it's doing so so well it makes for a very different di driving experience at the ring than i'm used to because this is really like i said all about that smoothness and just being being friendly for the car but still trying to keep the speed going which is which is difficult actually like it is very difficult to do a very fast lap in this car because I, I see it with this car you have to make the car work yeah the car doesn't make you work no, exactly you really have to do that because you're so eager on overcooking it very yeah. quickly that you're gonna get a, a fast entry but it just it kills you on the exit so really cool experience i am i have to i enjoyed this a lot it is a very very different experience to to what i'm used to and also in general i think with with cars around track yeah, it is know, it's uh, a small pretty narrow tall yeah, boxy car it yeah for a very different dynamic yeah it's a, a very different dynamic yeah, it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun i have to thank your rune here uh, go check very him welcome. out and yeah guys i i enjoyed this a lot i hope you did too and hopefully see you at the next ring review. Bye-bye.